We just acknowledge your presence, Lord God. We know that you are holy, Father. Father God, it's been your desire from the very beginning that you would have a creation, Lord God, of people and beings, Lord God, who were holy. And yet from the very beginning, Lord God, you were disappointed with Adam and Eve, Lord God. Then you tried a new creation, Lord God, after Noah, for you destroyed the first. And you thought, I will try again. And yet again, Lord God, you were disappointed. And you said, well, then I will bring laws and commandments that they may know what is required of me. And that didn't work either, Lord God. And through Isaiah, you said, there is none righteous, not even one. For like sheep they have all gone astray. So then, Lord God, according to your sovereign plan, Almighty God, you said, I will send my Son in their place. So Jesus Christ was born into this world, a man in human form, sent specifically by you, Almighty God, to fulfill the, the righteous requirements of the law and to bring to perfection that holiness which you desire, Almighty God. And through Jesus Christ, Almighty God, now we stand before you, Lord God, no longer with filthy rags, Lord God, or sins that are as scarlet, Lord, but we stand before you, Lord God, as pure and holy vessels of God through the blood of Jesus Christ that is shed for us. All that is required, Lord God, is that we say, yes, Jesus, I believe. I believe. I believe. Jesus has done it all. And now we are clothed with the robe of righteousness which only Jesus can give and only the Father can accept. The Word is as close as your mouth. It is in your heart. I believe. I believe. I believe. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord.